Hey, what's going on? My name is Tim Morosky, the owner of Mavis Games and the creative director for Antrea Chronicles Online, an upcoming MMORPG. You can catch me doing my thing live Monday through Friday at twitch.tv forward slash Mavis Games. The link will be in the description. Welcome to another amazing adventure in game development. This is a tutorial about object merging, which is exactly how it sounds. We're going to take a bunch of objects and we're going to merge them into one single static mesh. You may recognize this scene from our previous tutorial, level stream optimization via blueprints and triggers. But this one is a little bit different of an optimization technique. What we're going to do here is we're going to take a bunch of static meshes, we're going to click Window, we're going to click Developer Tools, and Merge Actors. And that's going to take this entire list of all the 3D models that make up this entire building right here, and we're going to click Merge Actors. We're going to find a place to put it, inside of our content browser. We're going to call this one Building 1. Save, and it's going to take all those 3D models and turn it into a single piece. Just like so. Now, we're going to double click on this. We're going to check our collision. Collision is good. Go ahead and save. And we can see all of the materials that were being referenced by these are now being batch rendered into the scene. <coughs> That's how we do it. Now let's cover why. <coughs> first things first, let's go ahead and do a little test run here. We're going to click play. If you hit your tilde key and type in stat scene rendering, that's going to pull up this list of stuff. As we run through here, we fire up a couple of triggers. Now look what happens to our draw call. We just peaked out at 7,500. Now we're sitting at about 4,000, 4,600. All of these numbers are very important. You want to keep those numbers really, really low, as low as you possibly can. So that's why we did the object merge. Now, here's the warnings. First, the merge actor does not seem to take a static mesh that happens to have an emissive layer on it. It won't take the lights. Also, it can no longer be modified any further. So if you want to have a door that swings open, you don't want to attach the door. So that's why we grouped all of these things and just disregarded it from the entire piece there. So what we're going to do is if you want to further modify this, you're going to need a dump level. So I just created a level stream tutorial level dump. And we're going to take this piece right here, the 232 pieces, and we're going to move it into the current level, which is the dump level. Sorry, 231 pieces. I was wrong. All right, now what's going to happen, we're going to double click back on level two again. And because we don't have this level, the dump level, being called in via the blueprints or the streaming, what we can do here is we can take this guy and drop it right into here. We're going to go and place this manually. The top view. Drop it right into here. I'm going to zoom in as far as I can so I can get in. All you got to do is right click in the blank space, set pivot offset here. I don't like working with snaps, so I kind of turn those off. Let's get it lined up right on top of the other mesh. Then we're going to look at it from another point of view, or the left. There we go. And we want to make sure. that it's lined up exactly where the other one was. There we go. Back to our perspective view. Now what we can see is we can hide the dump level. And this guy is right on here. Now, back to the little bit earlier. If you're wondering where the pivot point goes, it's going to go from exactly the the pivot point of the first object that you select in the series. So I kept this piece ungrouped from itself because I want the pivot point right there. So I'm going to select this mesh first, this mesh second, window, developer tools, merge actors, merge actors, level stream tutorial, this will be building two, save. <clears throat> now we're going to double click on this one. Check our collisions. Should be fine. It's exactly the same building as the other. Save. 
close. Now we're going to take all of these pieces here. We're going to move these into the dump level. Click back on level 3. That's where we're going to stick building 2. Back to our perspective, our top view. Press F to focus. Move our pivot point. Get the actor nice and lined up. Back to our left. Make sure we're lined up directly over top. go. Back to our perspective. Now we can hide this piece right here. And we've now got 19 objects inside of level 3, 20 objects inside of level 2. Not sure what I moved. That's okay though. For the sake of this tutorial, we're good. Now let's go ahead and hit play. Watch our draw call. 795. We've just dumped out like a draw call of 5,000 just by doing that little thing. And it behaves just like it did previously. The only exception is it reduced our draw call count by a very, very, very wide number. Now if we run over this way again, oh, I believe I have a trigger volume inside of here to turn that building on. Yeah, there it is. And we can see as we run through, nice and smooth, Got everything in there that we need, and run back out to here. Alright guys, that's it. That's all this tutorial was. So to recap, select your object, window, developer tool, merge actors. Oh, the thing we wanted here. Let's say that you don't want to make any further, op any further modifications. Let's say everything you have is perfectly done. When you're doing this, you could take those actors, instead of having a dump level, you just click Replace Source Actor, and then Merge Actors, and it's going to get rid of all of the other actors in the scene. But, if you want to further modify that, you're going to want a dump level. So, once again, in closing, thank you so much. My name is Tim Morosky, owner of Mavis Games, the creative director for Antrea Chronicles Online. You can catch me on twitch.tv forward slash Mavis Games, Monday through Friday, doing game development. Hope to see you there. Thank you, everybody. Peace out.